so this is a typical morning here in Bangkok as you can see it is very busy and noisy this morning I caught the BTS Skytrain to Safran Taskin BTS station because I've been told that this is a great area for Thai food so let's go and have an explore around drivers are absolute maniacs beeping their own to try and get through the traffic it's crazy See in this little market these noodles stars all sorts of food products for sale. Stalls, you'll find guava and dragon fruit. You'll also find pomegranates. As you can see, just so much different choices of food. now time for breakfast Thai style so this is my breakfast it is vegetable noodles and I've also got an orange drink as well so as you can see we've got noodles we've got corn in here we've got some tofu um, all sorts of stuff got a bit of cabbage carrots looking forward to digging into this So this is the place where I've just eaten. As you are walking around, the smells are absolutely fantastic. You can smell the different types of fragrances from the food, vegetables, different types of meat, so good. While the main road has lots of street food, head down the street little alleys to get the best food in the little restaurants where you can sit outside and try out the local cuisine. It's perfect, it's delicious. Now one of the biggest challenges crossing the street in Bangkok is that there's no green and red lights, you've just got to walk. So here goes.
was an interesting journey on a tuk-tuk and that cost me 150 Thai baht. And the area that I'm in now is an area that I've been to on numerous occasions. We're in Chinatown, we're gonna look around the markets and do some exploring around here. Not too sure what any of these items are. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. I think these are coffee beans, or they could be chestnuts, not too sure. No, they're chestnuts. I have no idea what most of this food is, but it's obviously seafood, there's crabs here. So we're now in the market area. So what we've got here is dragon fruit. As you can see, it's just absolute chaos down here with mopeds coming down, but there's loads of great foodie places in Chinatown. And at this point, you don't smell the food, what you smell is the smell of diesel. And as you can see, it's not just food for sale here, there's lots of other items as well. Clothes, bags, you name it, it's for sale here. I wish I could give a commentary on what the food is, but I'm being completely honest and saying that I've no idea. Everywhere you look, there is food. It really is a food is heaven. And these sausages look absolutely delicious.
shopping complex here called Central World. There's quite a few shopping complexes in Bangkok. They love the shopping here. Whoa, look at all this traffic. Absolutely crazy, man. A lot of the temples are preparing for the burial of the king, which I believe is happening on the 26th of October. I've had a fantastic day exploring Bangkok and I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you are a super explorer and you watch my videos all the way to the end, you share my videos, you like them or you comment, then let me know down in the comments that you are a super explorer. If you are new to this channel, I'm currently on a six month trip traveling around the world. I'm currently in Bangkok in Thailand. If you'd like to join us and become an explorer, then hit on that subscribe button. Until next time, take care of yourselves and don't forget to explore. See you soon.